Hello everyone, my name is Adam. I'm a professional graphic designer and animator from Casablanca, Morocco. In this course, you will learn how to make beautiful 3D shapes inside Photoshop. So we're not going to be using any 3D software. We're not going to be using 3D workspace in Photoshop. It's just going to be shapes and the pen tool. So for this course, you're going to need Photoshop, of course. Any creative cloud version of Photoshop is fine. If you never touched Photoshop before, this course may be a bit challenging for you. So by the end of this course, you should be able to make these beautiful 3D abstract shapes inside Photoshop. We're gonna make the sphere, the cube, and the pyramid. And using the techniques that you will learn in this class, you should be able to make any 3D shape that you like. So if you're looking to get creative and flex those Photoshop muscles, see you inside the course. Once you open Photoshop, you want to go ahead and click on Create New. And the universal size of a poster is A3. Okay? The equivalent in the US is a tabloid. So you can choose either A3 or a tabloid. It's the same thing. If I change inches to millimeters, you can see the numbers. They're quite similar. Okay? So I'm going to click on Tabloid, Continue. Now, this is my artboard, and let's start by creating our cube. Select your rectangle tool by clicking U on the keyboard, or just come over here, click and hold, and then you can choose the rectangle tool. Click once on the canvas, and enter the same value as I will right here. It's very important, okay? For the width, it's gonna be 1082 for the height it's gonna be 1476 click OK and here we have our rectangle go to view and make sure you have the same settings here so go to show and you can see that I, that, uh, I have smart guides checked you can also check pixel grid I have snap checked as well. And if you go to snap to, I have grids, layers, and documents bound. Okay, very important. Also, if your workspace doesn't look like mine, you can come over here to window, workspace, and you can see that I'm working with graphic and web. Once we finish with those, I'm gonna click F7 to open my layers panel, select the rectangle, and then what I'm gonna do is go to Edit, Transform, Perspective, okay? Then hold this angle of the rectangle and then just bring it down 30 degrees, okay? It's very important that you bring it down 30 degrees if you wanna give it that isometric look and feeling. Okay, 30.1, that's fine as well. Click OK. Now hold Alt or Option on your keyboard and then just duplicate this shape, okay? With the duplicated shape still selected, you go to Edit, Transform again, and this time Flip Horizontal. Just like that. And you can see that they already snap into each other. So I'm going to select the right shape or the right rectangle and then just give it a darker value so we can see the difference between the two. Make sure before you continue to click on Control Command S to save your documents. I'll just give it a name, box space two. Yeah, you can see that I was working with the box before, you know, just uh, training for the course. Now select the rectangle one and then just give it a name so you can recognize it after. So this is gonna be rectangle right. And this one is going to be rectangle left. Okay, just like that. Now what you wanna do is hold again, option or alt 
grab the rectangle right and then just bring it down here until it snaps with the left rectangle. Let me zoom in to see what's going on. And yeah, you can see that it's snapping perfectly. Now I'm gonna do the same for this one. Hold Alt Option and drag the rectangle left. And make sure it's snapping here. You can see it's snapping be because of these uh, smart kites. And now release and you can see we have a beautiful cube. Now what you wanna do is give a name to the bottom rectangles. So this one is the left one, rectangle left copy. I'm just gonna remove copy and put here bottom. And I'm gonna bring it all the way down like this. Where's the other one? It's here. So I'm gonna bring it down here too and change the name to bottom, okay? If I zoom out, so you can see our beautiful cube right here. Now it does look like it's not snapping 100%, so I can just select this and this, hold shift and select both, and then just with my right arrow on the keyboard, click once, and here we have it. Okay, guys? Now I'm gonna select rectangle left bottom and rectangle right bottom, right click, and then convert to smart objects. You're gonna see why in a moment, okay?